In this video, we're going to go over the two different ways we can pull an end of day report from Flow Hub. To start, let's select the Reports Classic tab on the left side of the page. Once in Reports Classic, we're going to see that we have an end of day PDF report that has been pre generated. This is a PDF that is available at the end of the day. In order to pull this report, we need to make sure that we have all of our drawers closed within Cashier. If we do not have our drawers closed, we will not be able to pull this report. Now once the drawers have been closed, we can highlight the end of day report. You'll see at the top of the screen, we have the ability to filter this end of day based on previous days of sales or our current day. When we pull this report, we'll see the Google Chrome browser populate a brand new tab with the report in it. From here, we'll be able to print it out for our records. Now, if we did not close our drawers on time and still need to extract this information, we can still create a custom report with the information in it. Since we're already in Reports Classic, we're going to select the plus at the top right of the screen to build our custom report. The landing page for the modal is going to be our sales report. We're going to just stick on the sales report option uh, since this will have all the desired data we need in it. First, we're going to name our report. We can call this end of day CSV replacement, end of day report, EOD, however we'd like to name this. We want to ensure we have a report name and a description in those fields in order to save the report. The next step is going to be selecting the fields we want to see within this report. So we're going to start clicking and dragging those fields in the order we want to see them. We're starting with drawer. Once the drawer has been selected, we're then going to select Total Debit, Sale ID, Transaction Time, Transaction Date, Employee Name, Total Cash, Sale Total, Total Loyalty, Total Gift Card, Voided, and lastly, Tax in Dollars. Now the way these fields are going to display within our CSV will be from left to right and top to bottom. So column A is going to be Drawer. Column B will be Total Debit, Column C will be Sale ID, and so on. Let's go down to our filters and we can then select Date Range. Lastly, we're going to save this report. Now, if you see any desired fields within that modal that you want to add to the report, feel free to select Edit and add those fields that it would be needed. Now that this report has been completed, we'll be able to pull this. You'll see at the top of the page, we have our filters for the report, including the date range. If we wanted to, we could select a past week date to then pull this report. When the report gets pulled, you'll see at the bottom of your Google Chrome browser, the downloaded report. Once you select the report, it will open within your desktop. To recap, we selected the reports classic tab on the left side of the platform. Select the plus at the top right of the page. From here, we selected Sales, checked our fields and filters, and then extracted the report.